Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. All right guys, we are at Yvonne's mum's and we've just been helping her out doing a bit of few DIY around the house. And uh, I said, you know what? I want to go out and have a little bit of explore. One thing I absolutely love is the fact of the different styles of houses. You've got the new and then you've got the old. You've got these oldish looking houses here. Then you come over here and these look obviously a little bit newer. Another example of some new houses here guys. See, now that is what I'm talking about. I love the differences in whenever you go anywhere and you see old builds with new builds next to it. We've got a bridge here. Now, I'm really, really, really inquisitive to find out why we have a bridge here. To so see that sign there, I'm thinking that down here, there might be a path that we could get on and see underneath that bridge. I think I just found it. Now, if I've got my uh, coordinates right here, we should take a left and see a um, bridge. I am so close to thinking that this used to be a rail line here. Wow, just look at that bridge. Wow, guys, this area has so much to offer, and I can't wait to come back here and do as many adventuring as possible. I'm going to go and head back to Yvonne's mum's and then um, spend some time with them. And, uh, well, I've got so much to tell them, to be honest. <laughs> For once, it's actually nice to be able to hear the birds and everything whilst I'm at home. Um, I'm not too sure if you watched last week's vlog, but I said I'm on holiday for a week, and not only I am, so is Yvonne. Yesterday, after we got back from uh, Wood and um, I was looking at my uh, Facebook feed because I shared a lot of content on there from around like Wood and Oak. I've had so many responses, and also I've had so much information as well, guys. I am going to be heading out in a bit to go and get Yvonne some uh, birthday presents, and then after that, I'm going to be basically going through my list of jobs that I want to get done this week and seeing what ones I get, can get ticked off. Hello. Hello. Don't touch your neck. He is just so cute, guys. I've just literally run around after all three of our cats to do their uh, flea treatment. And it is so comical because I swear to God, they know it's coming. And let's just say Technic was the first one that he was like, nope, I ain't having that. And I struggled to do Technic. However, Lynx and Dini was quite easy. So we are at a different Tesco's for once and we are in Hensford. I absolutely love about Hensford's Tesco is they got these um, escalators. It's absolutely fantastic because you get to get up a little bit higher. You can see all of the tops of the trees. Absolutely awesome. But I must admit, it's nice and quiet, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get in here very quick and get out very quick and then uh, get home and get on with a few chores. Well, the thing that you need when you do a wrapping of presents is some wrapping paper. So I'm just going to pop into B&M. So I've had a look around the shop and it looks like they don't have much birthday wrapping paper because it seems that Christmas has taken over. But I have found this kind of paper, which I kind of like the look of. And if it's not that, have a bit of some of that. Eh? So I'm going to grab some paper, get myself home and uh, get on with those jobs. What a cracking day we are having for weather. And what's even better is, is Yvonne's birthday today. And uh, we've done the presents and cards and everything. We are going to be going out today um, for a meal. And also I'm taking Yvonne to Hensford Park because she hasn't been there since she was like way small. Plus there's things in that area that I haven't actually seen properly myself. So uh, I'm looking forward to showing her that. And also I'm looking forward to taking you guys along as well. Happy birthday there, Yvonne. Thank you. Look what we got here as well, guys. Wow, this must have taken absolutely ages, though, to carve this. Me and Yvonne's going to be uh, having a little look around this park.
we've actually done a huge ring around the actual park. We've seen this bit of a wooded area and Yvonne was like, what's in there? And I thought, I haven't got a clue. Let's have a look at this. And this is more like my natural habitat. Look how the light just hits the trees just there. Oh yes. Can you explain to us why you can't beat nature's dart? Because it's not man-made, it's nature. So it's the most natural thing you can ever gonna say is nature's art. And it's all around us. There you go, you heard it from the birthday girl herself. So we're gonna carry on looking around this area. We are now off to have a nice meal and uh, I tell you now, this weather has been so on point for today. How are you enjoying your day up to now? Absolutely fantastic. Are you enjoying it very much? Yeah, yeah? it's been a lovely day as well. Awesome. Nice and sunny. I've got to say that this building is absolutely beautiful. Oh yes, a time lapse is in progress. I couldn't resist it. I haven't done a time lapse video in absolutely ages. However, guys, I uh, took Yvonne to two extra places today. I took her to the Marxist uh, visiting center, and also I took her to a place where I believe her nan used to live. There is going to be a video come out on what is going to be known as the old houses on Marcus's drive. Yvonne has had a really, really, really good day. She's definitely uh, enjoyed herself. She is definitely absolutely shattered in there, guys. Wow, guys, it is definitely different today for weather compared to what it was yesterday. And it's so cold as well. You could definitely tell where we're heading towards the winter months. I'm just getting myself ready to go out because I have to pop to the tip and I have to do a little bit of shopping in town. Um, but before I decide to go out and do any of the stuff that I need to get done, Deanie decided to bring home a guest for us. Well, at least there's one bonus this time compared to many other times when uh, the cats have brought us home guests. I am fully dressed and I've got the right footwear and I'm wearing jeans, so uh, hopefully no stinging nettles will get me in this area. So beautiful this area is. That's it, you sing for us. I think here is good a place of any. I hate it, I really do hate it. I have got pets that like to bring home live prey, so to speak, I really do, it's not nice. And lucky enough, this time, Dini hasn't followed me because there has been so many times, guys, honestly, that Dini has followed me and I'm like, oh God. Well guys, that's me now done at the tip. I am so glad that that's out of the way with. And to be truthfully honest, it's great that we've got this facility here that we can get rid of all the stuff that we can't get rid of like via the bins. It is literally bitterly cold for weather and every metal surface that you touch in is like, oh, that's cold. Well guys, what a surprise that was. I um, I gotta confess, I really wanted to show you the uh, canal today, and, but I've never seen a cat come up on the bit of this wall here. How you doing? Hello. Oh, that is so cute, guys. Hello. <laughs> right, well guys, we're gonna head on into town now, and we're gonna leave you there guarding the uh, canal anyway. Wow, guys. Look at the sky over there, it's so bright. And the funniest thing is, just in that area there, guys, used to be able to see the uh, old Rugeley power station.
look what I discovered today. I was literally coming back from visiting a friend in Stafford and um, I looked over the road because there was a bit of traffic. So I, I just have a little bit of a peek and I was like, there's some steps over there, where does that go? And then I sneakily saw a bit of water and I was like, that's a canal, I swear to God that's a canal. So I've just pulled over into a uh, side road here and uh, I parked up and I thought, like, let's, let's have a look at that area. And wow, it's absolutely awesome. And I'm looking forward to finding out exactly what this canal is, because if it is what I think it is, at least I know that I'm going to be able to do that canal system as well as the um, Trent and Mersey. I've got to say this, honestly, I've got my first shift tomorrow on my new department and I am really, really strangely nervous, yet I'm very excited. So fingers crossed, guys, that's going to be an awesome shift. But unfortunately, guys, this is where I'm going to have to love and leave you for this week. So I really want to say a huge thank you all to every single one of you that comes by to watch all of my videos. And always do your best, guys, to stay positive and screw all those negatives. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye-zy-bye. -bye.